Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 9 of season 3 of the Irregular at Magic High School. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1. So we say in like three, five months. All right. hmm? Oh, okay. Auntie. Yeah, please be careful opening it because it could be poisonous. Oh my God. What the fuck, once again, is Auntie Maya implying and planning? Because, you know, this bitch, because I got to refer to her as a bitch, because sometimes she acts like a bitch. Remember, she was so hard on this, and now she over here like, mm-mm, mm-mm. What the hell are you plotting, woman? You can't be here just yet. I mean, it just got here in Jax. And it's not supposed to really be to me in an hour from now. Yeah, no, it's not even out yet. Yeah. So what the hell were those two barking at?
Right. <laughs> Definitely, honey. <laughs> Right. And besides, he'll be okay. I mean, he might have to, maybe. That's good, though. That didn't sound good.
my god. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> it just got added today. Okay, why? So look at it as like second in command. I don't think that was supposed to happen, but okay. Crap. 
purse. A kidnapping. I mean, damn, bro, you just fucked up the Tesla. <laughs> You try it though. Mm, okay. Of course. Right, because, you know, once again, I'm Maya. Feeling some type of way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our, that's already too much work, so, you know, just protection, that's all. That's how we end the episode? Okay. Well, I mean, we're only 20 minutes in, so there could be something else at the end, though. But, yeah! Oh, Auntie Maya, what the fuck are you playing in, man? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? This is why, once again, I have a love-hate relationship with her, where I get some of the reasons on why she does what she does and how she acts and everything, because, yes, I would, too. But... I, I also get the reason of why Tatia is like, okay, no, we're not asking her for protection because I'm still a little weary, iffy on this situation with her because uh, Auntie Maya, she a flip-flopper. She been a flip-flopper since day mother effing one. The fact that the woman brought a damn letter and had their cousins bring it to them is highly, like, issue. 
little bit of craziness and stuff because okay i get it she she only wants to talk to tatsuya and yuki when it really is very much important other than that she's like here here's a letter from me or here's a phone call from me here's a voicemail from me or i'm letting my butler talk to you through me and such i mean girl i wish i could be that rich where i could just have someone do that for me Wouldn't it just be better if we were all in the same shit, in the same area, together? It makes the most sense because you two really like each other, so have at it. Now, hold up. Okay, I got one more thing to say. Why didn't he also not call? What's her face's sisters? That's a little weird as well. Because if we're if we're looking at everyone who Tatsuya is friends with, we're looking at students who have graduated or who are still in this school with him. So I think everybody, even Jumanji, yes, everybody should have been contacted about this. Yes, I get I get it. You want to keep it small and such. You have this small group circle of friends and who have been through a lot of things together and such. They're the core group who needs to be the most protected. I get that. But, like, we, we, we gotta look outside for everybody else, too, right? I'm just saying. This ain't no fucking core four. There's, like, what, not mm, You know what? Nine? Six? How many of us in this cute little group? Yes. But, like I said, I think it would have been better if it, everyone had a stayed all under one roof. Everybody would have been able to see where everybody is 24-7. Because, let's say, what, like, okay, let's use Mikihiko and Erica for an example. No, no, mm -mm. Yeah, yes, <laughs> no. Let's use Erica for a second. Just a little as an example. We can also use Mikihiko as well. Let's say, who just came here? Oh, it's Cody. Um... Let's say either one gets ambushed. You got to do an emergency call for everybody else to show up. Wouldn't it have been better if everyone just stayed under one freaking roof? So that, hey, if something happened, everybody could be there. What's not clicking? Because something ain't clicking. That's just me. It, there, it, we are, because th this is what Tatsuya is over here thinking of. Let's split up, gang. This ain't Scooby-Doo up in this bullshit right here. No. Because that's what it seems like. We're splitting up. We're all just separately protecting ourselves in ish. While Tatsuya still goes to do some stuff. I get that. But still, that's reckless. Very, very reckless. So hopefully nothing happens in the next couple of weeks. And hopefully no one gets ambushed or hurt or kidnapped or anything. Because 
with these ancient magicians, we don't know what they're fully capable of. Like, yes, we saw, like, a little smidget of them fighting against both Tatsuya and Miyuki and Minami, but because both Tatsuya and Miyuki are just overpowered as hell, <laughs> there is no chance. So it, it's going to be different when we see everybody else in this group because, in my opinion, they're, they're, some of them are at the same level as Tatsuya and Miyuki, and then some of them are not. And so that's where it's like, here's the struggle train among us. Possibly. I'm not 100% sure on that, but we won't know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 9 of season 3 of The Irregular at Magic High School. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. and make videos every single day. Enjoy the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 10. As I said in Misfit BTW, I am sorry I did not record last night. Um, Like I said, currently dog-sitting. And such I had to babysit both my dog and my cousin's dog and such and my cousin's dog is very like wanting to be attention and stuff like that and so I was like I'm not gonna be able to like try to record because this dog is just gonna cry through the whole freaking video and I'm just gonna be like girl girl but no she's chilling with my mom now so she's okay so now I can get all this done but until then I will see you guys all next time bye